My name is Pierre Tassé. I was born in Montreal, but then we moved to the Ottawa area, Ontario, and I was living there for 15 years. And I was born into the Catholic Church automatically because my parents were Catholic. And I went to a Catholic school as well. Received my first testimony of Jesus Christ, I have to say, when I was uh, in, in the school, in the Catholic school, and they showed a video of the crucifixion, and I knew that Jesus Christ was the Son of God at that time. I didn't know what to do about it. So, years ahead, moved back to Montreal when I was 15, stopped going to church. Uh, it just wasn't answering my questions, so I stopped going to church altogether. And then in 1977, the two missionaries knocked on my door, and I opened the door, and it was Elder uh, Jacob and uh, Elder Proctor. And uh, they said that they were missionaries from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So then they told me the, uh, the Restoration, uh, Joseph Smith and the Book of Mormon. And uh, when they said Joseph Smith, they asked me, do you believe in prophets? I said, yes, I, I do believe. I'd been reading the Old Testament on my own, reading the scriptures, and I believed in prophets. And I told them, I said, I'm not sure what we did to the Lord that he took prophets away from the earth but we must have done something. So they said, well, as a matter of fact, there's been a restoration and there is a prophet. And at that time it was Spencer W. Kimball, but they said the prophet of the restoration is Joseph Smith. So I thought, well, okay, that's, that's very possible. Then they gave me a Book of Mormon to read. And after they left, I started to read the Book of Mormon. I read about three pages and it just hit me. And I knew that it was scripture. I knew it was the people of, uh, the land of Israel and the people of the Old Testament were there and they, they had come to the Americas. I just I just felt it so strongly. I said it, it was like reading the Old Testament and I had a full testimony of the church. So of course then they asked me if I wanted to be baptized. And I in my heart I honestly felt, I said, I don't deserve it. I know it's true. I don't feel I deserve it. And Elder Hatch was quite outspoken and he said, Brother Tassie, Nobody deserves it. Of course you don't deserve it. That's the whole point of the church. Jesus Christ and his atonement and his sacrifice is to make us deserving. And if you're willing to be baptized and to work at it, you will be deserving of this and the Lord wants you to be baptized. So of course, I was baptized 40 some years later. I'm still in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I love it. I'm grateful for the, the opportunity to be baptized and uh, for all that I was able to learn for all of the, um, the scriptures that were answered to me. The Book of Mormon made it totally clear and I totally understood uh, all that had happened there. I understood Jesus Christ from the very beginning, from the foundation of the earth. I knew that it was true and I'm grateful for it. And I don't understand why the Lord picked me out of the world, but he did. And I'm thankful for it. And I bear you my witness of these things that they are true. And the church is true, not just because it's true in that sense, but it's true because it leads you into the direction of going back to Heavenly Father and being able to have a full testimony of Jesus Christ. And I know these things are true and I bear my testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.